Hey guys, this is Kamal Sharma and in this video we will talk about data redundancy and replications. Data redundancy means keeping the same data stored at more than one place while the data replication is the process to synchronize all the data copies. Why do we need it? There are three main reasons that I think data availability, failover and handling heavy throughput. Let's talk one by one. Data availability. If we have a single copy of a file stored on one server, so in case of server failure we would lose the data. So it is better to keep more than one copy of the data file. Failover. In case of server failure, we can fall back on the replica server. Handling heavy throughput. When a single server gets throughput more than its capacity, then we can create multiple replicas of the data and throughput can be served with low latency. Next, let's talk about replication strategies. First is full replicated database. In this kind of strategy, a complete database is replicated. It would increase data availability, but together it would also increase complexity. Very common example of a use case is regional and zonal based replication. Next, replication strategy is partial replicated database. In this kind of strategy, a partial database is replicated. It depends on importance and data use cases. For a reporting platform, replicating just reporting part of the database can be example of a partial replication. Third is unreplicated database. In such cases, no data is replicated. Next, we will talk about replication methods. First is full dump and load. This is a snapshot approach where data is dumped periodically. This approach is normally used for small data sets where a snapshot of entire database is captured periodically. Next replication method is incremental. In this method data incrementally gets updated based on last updated time. It fetches all the rows that were updated after the last updated time on the date time column. Warehouse applications often use this kind of replication. Last replication method is log replication. This is a very standard approach and many databases use it internally. Data change is written in a log file and background process continuously reads the log files and update the databases. This is a very efficient approach. Let's talk about some of the challenges. There are mainly two challenges data consistency, cost and resources. Let's talk about data consistency. Data consistency is very challenging in the application process. In case of any failure, data would be inconsistent. Cost and resources. We need more servers, storage and other resources and that would increase cost. So data redundancy and replication is important for system design. Now one more thing that the interviewer can ask is how you will implement this. So master slave is very popular pattern where data is written on master nodes and replicated immediately on slave nodes. So all the reading traffic can be served through slave nodes. We will talk about master slave replication in a separate video. That was all about redundancy and replication. If you have any question, comment or message me on LinkedIn. In the next video, we will talk about cache and CDN. Thanks for watching.